In this problem, we are told that at 500 degrees Celsius, cyclopropane, or C3H6, rearranges to form propene. The reaction is first order, and the rate constant is given to us. It has a value of 6.7 times 10 to the fourth per second. And it asks us if the initial concentration is 0 0.0500 molar, um, answer these questions. What is the concentration of cyclopropane after 30 minutes? So of course, it's going to be less than 0.05. So what you want to do here is use the integrated rate equation. Um, in this textbook, it's uh, shown as uh, this form here natural log of uh, a at time t divided by a at time 0 is equal to minus kt. Or we can um, rewrite this equation as a of time t minus natural log concentration of a at time 0 is equal to minus kt. Okay. So we want to substitute values into this equation here. Uh, we are trying to find the, um, the amount after a certain amount of time. So we want to move this to the other side of the equation. OK. And we want to go ahead and substitute in values. So the initial amount is uh, concentration is 0 0.0500 molarity and the rate constant is given to us here okay and time we want to substitute in here but um, what you'll notice is that they're giving us minutes whereas the rate constant is given to us in time, uh, seconds. So we need to convert 30 minutes to seconds. There are 60 uh, seconds per one minute. So that's 1,800 seconds. Okay, so seconds cancels here. So let's go ahead and um, start calculating some of these things. So the natural log of 0 0.0500 is minus 2.996. We have a subtraction here from the formula. Multiply these two and we get a value of 1.206. So the natural log of A at time T is negative 4.202 or A concentration at time T is E to the power of 4.202, which comes out to be 0 0.0150 molarity after we round to um, two significant figures here because the rate constant has two significant figures. Okay, so um, that's how you do part um, a, in the next video, I'll show you how to do B and, uh, and uh, C. Thanks for watching. This is a continuation of uh, part uh, problem 50. Uh, we already figured out part A, and here we're working on part B. Again, we're given this reaction. We're given the initial concentration of C3H6, and we're given this rate constant. As well as knowing this from the units, they also tell us that the reaction is first order. And they ask us now in part B to figure out how many minutes will it take for the starting concentration to drop to 0 0.0100 molar. So what you need to do is start out with the integrated rate equation here. The natural log of A at time T minus the natural log of A at time 0 is equal to minus KT. And we're interested in um, the time here. So divide both sides by negative k.
and we have this equation to work off of now. And so now we just plug in the uh, concentrations and the rate constant here from the problem. So the natural log of A at time t is afterwards, 0 0.0100. And the initial concentration is 0 0.0500. And we divide all this by minus the rate constant here, 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth and that's in units of per second. So when you work this out on your calculator, natural log of 0 0.01 is minus 4.605. The second term is 2.996 with a negative. And we divide this again by the rate constant. So I'm showing you stepwise here so you can see where, what happens to the signs here. This is going to be equal to minus uh, 1.609 divided by minus 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth per second. And what we get is 2,401 seconds. Um, that's not the final answer yet. What we need to do is convert the seconds to minutes because the problem asks us how many minutes so just to tidy up the problem here, I'll go ahead and show that. Um, once again, remember, we divide by 60. Okay, so your starting units cancel. And we're left with uh, 40 minutes after we round it off to uh, two sig figs. Thanks for watching. I'll show you now how to work on part C. The problem. 50 part C, again we're given this reaction. The rate constant is provided. We know it's a first order reaction and the initial concentration of uh, C3H6 or cyclopropane is 0.0500 molar. And we're asked how many minutes will it take for 25% of the starting material to react. So it's an issue of semantics, but if 25% reacts, uh, what percent is left behind? Well, it means that 75% remains. Okay, so when you're setting up um, values here to use in the integrated rate equation, this is your starting value, okay? And A at time T is 75% of 0 0.0500 molar, okay? So that comes out to be 0, 0.0. 375 molar. So that's what you want to use. Not 25% of that, but 75%. So we solve this equation, um, this problem, just like we did with uh, part B. You start out with the integrated rate equation. You again solve for T by dividing both sides by the negative rate constant. And you go ahead and uh, plug in some of these values. So the time t, we have this concentration over here, 0 0.0375. And initially we have uh, 0 0.5, 0, 0 molarity. And that's all divided by minus the rate constant, which is 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that has units of uh, per second. So let's go ahead and work through these values carefully. Um, we get negative 3.283 minus a negative 2.996. Okay, check your calculator to make sure you're getting the same values there. Okay, so we'll combine those uh, terms on the top and we get negative 0 0.287 and that's divided by negative 6.7 times 10 to the minus fourth. And when we do this, we get uh, 400 
29 seconds. Now, don't forget um, that uh, the problem asks for how many minutes, so we need to divide by 60. Okay, seconds cancels here, and we're left with 7.1496 something minutes. So let's round this to two sig figs, uh, 7.1 uh, minutes. Right, that's, that's how you do part C. Thanks for watching.